you. <laughs> All right. Speaking of having no confidence in solving our financial problems, I mean, now I have no confidence in solving our financial problems after that conversation. One Republican state representative from Montana has lost so much faith in the U.S. dollar, thanks to the deficit, that he's asked the state legislature to pay his salary in gold. Representative Jerry O'Neill joins me now by phone in a Fox Business exclusive. Thanks so much for joining us. Did you hear that last conversation, by the way? Yes, I heard most of it. Yeah. How do you, how'd you feel about that? It, I mean, that's, this is sort of this is the stalemate. I mean, this is the position that we're in. Everybody thinks that they've contributed and they, and they don't want to add anything more. I feel like we're going to go flying off this cliff. I think we're, we've only got two choices. One is the federal government is going to tighten their belt and pay down the debt. Or two, they're going to continue running up the debt like they're doing now, and we're going to go bankrupt. If, we, if they tighten their belt and pay down the debt, we're going to be hungry. But at least we'll pass freedom on to our kids. If they continue on like now, I don't know what kind of who's going to take over our government in the next 10 years. No, I, I just don't understand. Them. If this were my household and I was staring down the barrel of this problem, I would say, listen, guys, we got to spend less money. I mean, it just it, anyway, this is not what I'm supposed to be talking to you about. I'm supposed to be asking you about why you want to be paid in gold. Why are you losing faith in the dollar? Well, that's absolutely what you're talking about is why I want to be paid in gold, because the, we continue spending all this money that we don't have, and we continue printing money to pay for it, and it won't, someday somebody's going to lose faith in it, and money's going to be worthless. Right as the way it is, money is devaluing very fast. In about the year 2000, I bought a roll of uh, gold American Eagles. I paid like $3,600 for it. In 2006, I ran for the Justice of the Peace in Flathead County in northwest Montana. So I needed some money, so I hold, sold that roll of, double e of American Eagles, their gold American Eagles. I sold them for $6,000. Mm. So they inflated $2,400 in uh, six years. If I had that roll of d American gold eagles now, they would be worth about $18,000. Yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely. I mean, a lot of people are saying right now, especially, I, I mean, you heard that last gentleman, if they want to raise the taxes on capital gains and, and on investment income, then no one's going to invest as well. I mean, there's no point putting your money in stocks. You're right. Everybody's going to be hiding in gold. Uh, but what makes you think that the devaluation of the dollar is coming anytime soon? I hear what you're saying about inflation, but, you know, at the t as it is right now, we're still paying our bills and we're still sort of the best um, security in the world. I mean, others are closer to having their currency be worthless than us, so people are still willing to, to back the dollar. What makes you think it's coming to an end anytime soon? I, I don't know. I'm still, I know have lots of friends that are waiting for the second coming of Christ, too. And is it going to come tomorrow? Is it going to come in our lifetimes? I don't know. But it seems to me, well, for that, the value, when my, when my roll of gold, American Eagles, when that went up from thirty six hundred dollars to eighteen thousand, that was actually the dollar devaluing. The dollar is devaluing. It's devalued that much between two thousand and two thousand and twelve. In twelve years, it went from thirty six hundred dollars to it went from well, basically the it went down that much. And I, as long as Congress, the government spends as much money as they're spending. There's no way other than the value of the dollar going down. Yeah. Jerry O'Neill, thank you so much for joining us. Interesting perspective. Okay, thank you for having me. So here